All right, so I'm um, sorry that this video's formatting. Ah, sorry this video's formatting is so weird. It's because the audio decided not to work this time around, so I'm just going to voice over it. So, um, here we go. So, in this video, we are actually, at the beginning, showing a little glitch, because in a game called Mirror, this happens. Either way, before we get on with this video, I'm really going to need to ask you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all the links in the description. And be sure to check out the tutorial that I had to look at to actually figure out how to get this whole thing to work. Seeing as it was honestly just being a jumbled mess at the time. And I really didn't know how to handle it. So I really like to thank you all for your support. So, um, I'm gonna have to say this part was me stalling just talking about how I'm really busy and the reason I haven't been uploading much. Also... I, um, I'm not actually going to be uploading as much gaming anymore, more or less a ton of tutorials, seeing as this is a wall script, and, like, this is a wall script tutorial on how to get it to work. You don't, a this stu video doesn't actually teach you how to make it. However, let's get right on into it. Okay, so the reason this is going to be an extra short video is because apparently the other file got corrupted. So we're just going to be able to show you this singular part. So as I said, go look in the link in the description and go download the other person's little thing as the properties and all that that I'm going to be telling you how to use here. He is the one who made the model with all of that in it. So I'm going to need I'm going to link the model down there. I'm going to link his video down there and I'm also going to link my groups and my game so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and press play here so I was in the process of making a loop-de-loop -loop for you to be able to walk on and I had actually figured it out as you can see so if you look over there where my mouse is beginning to point hold on oh forgot about this part Okay, so, here I'm getting ready to show you which properties to put each thing in. So, if you look where I was pointing, you grab some things out of his model. Like, you do the readme, you don't have to, if you're listening If you're listening to this video. So, you put the draw class, I believe, and gravity controller in replicated storage. You put the hold on. Come on. Okay. Um uh, why is he Okay okay past me, come on. Then you put animate and local script in starter character script and you put player script loader and rbx character sounds in starter player scripts so once you've done all that you can make your loop-de-loops -loops and all that i'm going to be linking this game in the description as well so that you can go play it there will be more than just the loop-de-loop -loop. but um yeah i'm gonna let you finish watching this little bit there's also something else that i decided to put in there's a circular spawner that i always put in either way so i can let you see how I finish up the loop-de-loop. -loop. It was not as professional the way I did it. I would not do it the same way as me. But, um, yeah. Pretty much uh, uh, what I do in this little bit is I finish the loop-de-loop. -loop. So I do that. Uh, yeah, I had a bit of struggles there. So I bring that down. I do that. And then I place the little spawn point. The spawn point is not something that we all need to see. I mean, you can watch and check if it works. I know it does. So I'm actually going to leave it off here whenever you see the character running around. 
And then I'm going to start using my headphones to make videos. <laughs> so I don't have to voice over like this. Alright, so... I don't remember if I... Okay, so I don't think I go through the loopy loop. So I really do hope you all enjoyed this little bit of tutorial. Again, sorry it was set up all wonky. I really, really hope you enjoyed. I really hope it helped. And I will see you in the very next video where I do a little bit more for our past tutorial. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!